At the T-minus three-minute mark, tape recorders on board the spacecraft were turned on. These recorders record both voice and data. OMM LP The Radiator, operating out of Burlington, Vermont on 105.9 FM. Tonight on Rocket Shop, we have The Silent Mile. And as you can hear, I am not Tom Proctor. I don't have the beautiful British accent that he does. I'm Bob Cahoon, filling in for Tom tonight. Uh, we have Silent Mile. We have Hunter, Conrad, and Steven. And they're going to start us off with a song real quick so we can hear what they're all about. You ready, guys? So, so what was the name of that song? Uh, the World Was Ours. The World Was Ours. And even though I gave you a quick intro, why don't you go around and tell us your name, the instrument you're playing, because we can't, oh, we can't see that on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> so we have on my far right... Uh, Conrad on bass. All right, on bass. Yep. Uh, Hunter on guitar and vocals. Guitar and Steven vocals. On drums. Steven on drums. And Steven on drums might have to speak up so we can hear you when you talk. I, I Steven on drums but, a little sick. <laughs> yeah, Steven on drums a little sick. So we'll speak for Steven on drums. <laughs> I think that's how we're going to refer to you all night now, Steven on drums. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> awesome. So I said, you know, right before we were we went on uh, on air here, I wasn't going to try to put you in a genre, but I'd say you have a sound that is is sort of a Burlington sound. I think you know, you call it, you know, you you're you're 
Bandcamp says pop punk, also says emo punk. Your punk, I mean, it's hard to put people in the categories. How would you describe your music uh, for, to be, for people? I definitely think we all agree that it's some form of emo and yeah. some form, and obviously some form of kind of punk because that's what we all kind of grew up listening to. Kind of like early 2000s inspired yeah. sort of sound. I, that's so, so what kind of things were you listening to growing up that led you to this kind of music? You got uh, I mean, I really like the early November a lot. Mm -hmm. um, we all love Blink-182. Yep. Yep. Newfound Glory. Newfound Glory. Wonder Years. Wonder Years. Yeah. Yeah, so that, um, yeah, and that's a certain that's a sound that I think is is popular around here. And Steven. Right. Steven likes... Drums. <laughs> Steven likes these older, like, um, emo rock bands like Time Spent Driving and Branstein. Okay, I'm... Maybe right. not... Branson, <laughs> sorry. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. I've been checking them out. Yeah, oh, and there's... like Get Up Kids, we all oh, yeah. like to yeah. Get Up Kids too. Yeah, for sure. And is that, is that something you think you you modeled your sound after the bands you've liked, or is it sort of developed uh, as you've started playing together? Or? I I think it's a mix of those more popular bands and then more like the, the emo stuff that didn't really make yeah. it that far. It's kind of yeah, blending the two plus our own take on it, I guess. And and, and a little bit of history. How long have You've been together as a band is not a long, long time, it's like right? September or no August? August. Yeah, August. August. No, yeah. Not, so we're, August. we're not even hit a year yet. No no, 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 no. Okay. No. <laughs> you, you say that with a certain no. <laughs> no, I mean like it's been. Sorry, excuse. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, there you go. Um. So, but before that, were you all in other bands? I was. You were, and that was Hunter. Yeah, Hunter. You said that. Yeah, and. I've never played this Conrad. I've never, I've never played in a band before. Uh, Steven and I actually had been playing like cover songs just for fun. We worked together. Uh -huh. um, we were playing like some Blink songs. So, uh, so if you haven't, you didn't play in a band before. How long were you playing bass before you decided <laughs> I needed some other people with me? I actually picked it up for this band. I was playing oh, really? guitar. Yeah. Okay, so you went from guitar to bass. Yeah, yeah. Nice. It was kind of like a, he came over and jammed with us one day, and. We just like really need the bass player, <laughs> and kind of I, rounds said out the sound. I said to Stephen, "I'm like, man, dude, I just wish Connor would play bass for us. I like him a lot." <laughs> and then they went to some local show at Gloom Garden, and I guess he was like, "Dude, why are we not playing music with Hunter?" And Stephen <laughs> told me, "I was like, no way, like <laughs> let's do this." <laughs> so did you have to go out and equip yourself here? I did. Yeah, I got like the cheapest <laughs> bass possible at first, and it sounded <laughs> awful. But yeah, I got that in practice, and then I decided I was like, all right. Yeah. You, you like this? <laughs> You're like, so. yeah. Two fewer strings to tune, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so, have you, do you have you decided you like the bass now? I mean, yeah, it's it's fun. It's as an fun. instrument. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've had we had somebody else. Uh, Yestrogen. Do you, do you know Yestrogen? I actually went to the EP show on Saturday. Cool. Yeah. So Claire bought nine thousand. Their bass player. Same <laughs> story. Had didn't play bass till she got in with them, and then and. They were good. To see a bass that she liked in the store, and that started it all—the same kind of thing. And then loved yeah. it. And it sounds like you've got the same. Yeah, yeah, same it's story a lot of fun. Here. Yeah, I actually think when I first started playing music, um, when I was like, I don't know, like fourteen or fifteen. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad like tried to talk me into being a bassist because he was like, really? "Nobody ever has a bassist. There's never enough bassists." It's true. But then I just started like, <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's, it's an unusual <laughs> instrument to start with. Yeah, yeah. Think. Especially if you don't have other people to play with, it kind of doesn't. <laughs> yeah, not, it, your bass does have frets, I see. So. They're trying to get themselves on the Facebook you know. camera here, even though this is the radio and we're in the 21st century. We have to be <laughs> online too, um, and probably have as many people listening streaming. And so, Stephen, I, I don't want Stephen on drums. I don't want to miss you back there. Oh, okay. When did did you start playing drums? Is like, is, was this the middle school thing that started you in percussion, or did you pick this up later? Um, it's been a long time since I've been in a band, but mm -hmm. I did it um, late high school. Okay. Um, so junior and senior year, and then I tried as hard as I could to get something going in college, and it just it just never. Worked but you played out. guitar back then, right? Yeah, I did. I did used to play. Guitar. So you all started as guitar players. <laughs> <laughs> There, there, there's a song or something in there. I think. <laughs> um, so speaking of songs, you want to play another one and then we'll chat a little yeah. bit more. Uh, so what's this one called? Play a quieter one called Carolina Blues. Carolina Blues. So this one is on your Bandcamp page. It is. Mm -hmm. There's a demo for this one up. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about it when you're when you're done here.
right, that was Carolina Blues. We have Silent Mile with us on Rocket Shop tonight. So, like I said, that was one of the two I found on Bandcamp. Mm-hmm. Are those the only two songs kind of available? Those to are the only right two now? right now. Okay, and so you're going to go into the studio in a month, I think I read? Uh, exactly. Yep. You're going to, am I allowed to say it? Yeah. Robot Dog Studios, yes. right? With, with Ryan Cohen. Oh, yeah. In a month. So that must be both exciting and a little bit uh, you know, a little nervous around that right I mean this is a first is this your first real studio experience as a band yeah Definitely as, a band. as a band yeah as a band so you individually some of you have I've worked with action. Ryan before okay you actually. worked in the studio as yeah. a cool so so this is gonna feel a little comfortable for you yeah <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, actually, <laughs> I'm kind of I'm a little nervous since I'm singing yeah <laughs> so how, do you you have two songs on bandcamp how many songs do you are you looking to record when you go in? Is this a big session for like a full album or is so this an EP size thing? Definitely want to do an EP. Okay. We haven't decided if it's going to be straight three songs or five, or it's up in the air. There will be at least three. Okay. We don't know if we're just going to stop it at that and then do the other two later, later, later this year. Okay. And. So you, so you have five songs kind of waiting to go. Yeah, the five that we want to do, yeah. And are any of the ones that were the Carolina Blues or the other? Uh, what yeah. Was uh, Untitled Letter? Th- yeah, those two will be on there. So for those sure. two are on there, and then you're working on some more. Yeah. So, so lyrically, is are you the main songwriter, Hunter? So Carolina Blues, I wrote all the verses. Mm-hmm. And I originally was like, yeah, I don't want there to be singing for the chorus. And then Stephen like, had this cool chorus line and i was like all, all right. right let's try that and i was like this works like perfect nice. but yeah otherwise for all these i've written all the lyrics and asked them for opinions of this sound right or so just so do you come in and... with do you come in with lyric and a, and a melody or um, really i mean where does it start where does the song come to come together start for you guys and then come together i feel like we just I feel like you usually show up with some chords. Yeah, and like a riff to, or something. Yeah, we start to kind of play off that, see what happens, and then usually he'll come back in like a week later. With we've we've done a lyrics. lot of it acoustically first. Okay. So Steven's just kind of there. <laughs> in the background, <laughs> hanging on the kitchen table. Hanging on things. <laughs> but like, it, yeah, he brought a practice pad for one of the songs, like our newest one we wrote, and it worked out like perfect. Okay, and so are you, are you on uh, an acoustic guitar too during this? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he actually like has wrote some cool like parts on that, and then just put them on bass. And it so, so really do you think good. when you go into the studio, do you think you're going to stick with your setup right here, which you have, you know, the traditional guitar, bass, drums, or do you think you'll add in um, anything else? Add add in an acoustic or, or so something else. So for Carolina or? Blues, the demo is all acoustic guitar. Right. My thought is to maybe how we're doing it live. We make a dirty guitar in that last part, and my thought is to do that on on it. But I don't know. So you're gonna, are you going to get in there and experiment a little on that Ryan? song for sure? And yeah. then we might add some like lead parts on guitar. But since there's only three of us, I don't want to add something to a song that's like. Oh hey, I saw these guys live, and that song doesn't sound the same. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you got to think about it a little bit. I'm playing this, and there's but tons then I'm of bands play it somewhere else that we yeah. all listen to. That like, I mean, Blink has yeah, hundred guitar tracks on every I, song. I know. And it, they make it work. Yeah. As they long as you're it, doing it to add to the song enough. They also have some tricks up on stage too. Yeah. <laughs> right? you know, right. That's true. Yeah. They they travel around with a tractor trailer full yeah, exactly. of equipment. To... So I mean, for the most part, we'll probably just keep it the way you're hearing it right now. And so as, as you write these songs and then go out and play them live, do you find them changing as, you, as you're playing them out live and as um, you go along? Or? For me, at least, I definitely am like changing, kind of track, figuring out what I'm doing. It's also mm-hmm. just because I'm also le- learning bass. And I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. I can do this now. I'll try this instead. And, you know. and, and it's a good way to psych your up, yourself up. To, yeah. i got to practice. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. You can go play live, but, but playing live itself, you find out what people react to. Do you, do you, yeah. Can you yeah. kind of tell as you played something different at this <clears throat> point to this time, and then I tried something different? and <laughs> Our newest song we played for the first time live last Friday uh-huh. on a show we didn't know we were going to be on until like a few hours before. Yeah. And <laughs> no. like I just remember looking up, and like people were really into it. 
Yeah, that, was that, like, that one was the one. That was like, oh, awesome. Where the crowd finally decided, they're like, yeah, we like this band. Because <laughs> we were like, oh, How many songs in was that? <laughs> Three. Three. Okay, that's well, that's, that's fine, you know. Yeah. You know, I, 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 and I've always been on the crowd side of things. Can you tell when you've got a new crowd that doesn't know you? And they're just sort of feeling you out a little bit, or? Oh, I uh, think that's been every crowd. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> every crowd so far. And I've been at some of your shows, shows so, right? Yeah. I mean, we, we yeah. played at, you know, at the, over at our old space over there, and, and where, yeah. which is now our Try It. Was, um, I forgot who you were, who were you with? We played with, with Days on End, Winona, and Real Juan. Talk, and Keep Flying. Oh, yeah. oh, right, the Keep Flying show. Yeah, 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 yeah. that was awesome. That, that yeah. was a fun show. Yeah. Second show. <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was, <laughs> that was your a second show. Night after our first one too. Yeah, night after our first one. Awesome. Yeah, first the first week. one was where? Uh, Jim's. <laughs> in in Jim's basement. Yeah, in yeah. the basement. I I personally feel like that's a rite of passage in Vermont. I was like, you gotta play at least. A show. <laughs> I, it's a rite of passage for anyone who's traveling through Vermont. I mean, there's been there's been a lot of bands that have just come through, and I need to I want a place to stay. I'll play, or yeah. I want a place to play, and I'll stay. You know. Yeah. And it's a fun, it's a fun spot. Yeah, it was definitely a, lot of fun. a fun spot. Yeah. So that was your second show over here. Yeah. How many more do you have you done here? One last Friday. <laughs> so you were up to three. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. um, we haven't announced it yet, but I mean, we're doing like a short run next month. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, okay. We got a one-off show on the fifteenth in Lowell at Uncharted. At Lowell, Vermont. Lowell, Mass. Lowell, Mass. Uh, uh, where, where UMass Amherst. Yeah. Or you mess low. Well. <laughs> then uh So so what that's when that's February 15th. Okay, so so college will be back in session. That's a good thing. Yeah. Um and then that's like kind of a standalone thing, but we're putting it on our run cuz why not? Why not? <laughs> uh and then we have four other shows, three of which are also out of state. Um it'll be 22nd in Vermont at Gloom Garden. Okay. Which is a, another yeah. DIY spot. Yep. 23rd in Hamden, Connecticut, 25th in Providence, Rhode Island, or 24th, sorry, in Providence, Rhode Island, 25th in Austin. Austin. Boston. Yeah. So And so how did you put this tour together? Uh, Do you know people in these locations? Yeah, that's... <laughs> so, it's like... Hunter, <laughs> yeah, I, so I'm using, like, experiences from my old band, like, connections and stuff, but it's been different because, like, we're new and no one knows who we are. Yeah, like, who? So, uh, yeah, we, basically, we had the show at Gloom Garden booked, and we had the show at Alston booked, and we were like, well, why don't we just make it a whole weekend, go some, you know, you know hit up a few more, and then, we're in the car anyway. Steven right? and I saw this really rad band out of mass called Circus Trees. Circus Trees? They played over yeah, there, too. That's yeah, that's where yeah, we yeah. saw them, yeah, yeah. and... We hit them up and we're like, hey, we'd love to come play with you sometime. And their dad was like, do you want to play February 15th? We're like, yeah. <laughs> so, so, th so that's going to be in Boston? Oh, uh, that's the Lowell one. Oh, that's the, that, that's Lowell. Yeah, I wasn't sure where they were from in yeah. that. I don't really know where they're from. Plymouth, yeah, I'm I thought. Not sure either. Oh, yeah. I don't remember where they're from in Mass. Yeah. But they're awesome. awesome. They, were, they were fun. And can I tell my, my little quick circus tree story? Because I was there for the show and I was doing the sound. And so they're getting ready, and they're doing their little quick sound check with their dad. And he says to his daughter, I, I, you got to turn down the guitar a little bit. And she gave him one of those teenage, what, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> dad? And I was like, that is so punk. She was yeah. so funny. She walks up to the mic, and she's like, hey, everyone, it's going to be loud. And I'm like, okay, you okay? you're... you're small and you're both using full stacks like yeah it's gonna be loud. <laughs> it, yeah it was sort of like a, whoa the whole crowd got pushed back they were good they were one of the, the loudest good. that we've had over there um did you see um a film in color no they were loud no vote no lyrics just straight playing but ama another amazing band they're from brooklyn if you ever see them or you want to go look up them yeah. and see where they're playing they were amazing um, but the, they were allowed to. Circus trees were allowed, and loud in a good way. Yeah, yeah, you know, loud in a good. You could still hear the music, and that—that's yeah, me. Is the key. I like that, right? You know, he's, I still want to hear a little bit of melody in there somewhere, right? <laughs> so, we ready for another song here? Yeah, uh, I guess we're gonna do Untitled Letters since you said you've heard it. Yeah, I don't know. We'll start it up. Uh,
my dreams are always filled with you by my side. Love one day, red, green eyes kill me. Silent Mile with Untitled Letter, which you can find right now on Bandcamp. Is that going to end up on the new EP? That was a definite yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> no, that's, no, that's quite okay. I can keep talking for a minute here. I haven't been singing. Um, so, how, when you, you're going to go make record this EP, then is Ryan going to mix and master it for you? Yeah. And how, about how long do you think that's going to take? Recording next month... Well, just one session next month. So you're, so you're just doing one session next gonna month. That's going to be th- three songs musically. Okay. Music, okay. And then Sounds we're going like to... fitting it into a weekend. Yeah. yeah. And then I think we're going to wait till we come back from our little run. And try to get in and do, some, do a few more songs. Yeah, well, we're going to do the vocals for three. Like, we're going to do three. Should hopefully recording-wise be done by the beginning of spring yep and then we're gonna probably release one of those and then over the course of spring early summer we'll probably go back and do the other two okay so do you think you're gonna release them as singles or you're gonna uh i think we're gonna... probably gonna do two singles off of it at least yeah, I'm, just, yeah. I'm just curious and we're right... still like that's kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. figuring that out figuring yeah. that out yeah and uh, right now just on Bandcamp, right you haven't yeah. you haven't hit the streaming services and all that no kind of we stuff. felt like we should wait till we have better quality stuff it's to do that. hard to tell these days isn't it what <laughs> yeah. the, well, you know what what's the right route how do you how do you get your that, music out there that was so, only our thought like because people keep asking us and we're like well they're free on Bandcamp, so you can just have them yeah and but by the same token <laughs> you know, yeah I don't, that, I don't that's, know. that's where you have to play you know balance that of how many people don't even go to Bandcamp anymore? Yeah. Like I said, I tell people, oh, there's a lot of great stuff on They're Bandcamp. They're on YouTube like, as well, and I know a lot of people still use YouTube. A lot of people still use YouTube, but they, you got the juggernaut of Spotify and Apple Music yep. out there, and it's... Yeah. I don't know what... I don't know how that works out for artists, to be honest. It's hard telling. It, the balance seems a little off. I still use every... I go to, like, everything. Well, I'm that's the way I am, too. I mean, I'm, I'm bounce around, bounce around everywhere, but... And I feel like other musicians probably, like... Mm-hmm. They obviously know about those platforms, but for like an average person, like it's like what the Bandcamp 
like what's that? Mm. Isn't that the like joke in American Pie? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? It's yeah, it sounds like that a little yeah. bit, doesn't it? Fun time at bank camp. Well, it, it, yeah, it, but it's the same problem with any just getting the music out there, but also getting getting your name out there. Yeah, kind of thing. How do you find Burlington as a music scene has been for you guys to kind of break into it? To, it's been great, and like everybody's super nice and welcoming. It's just it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, and how is it finding frame, places so. to play punk, it, punkish kind of thing? You know, whatever you want to call it, right? We well, definitely have had no trouble at yeah. all. I mean. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> so, a lot of people are into that. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, it seems like it's a, it's a, it's a pretty good place for that. Yeah. Definitely. Um, you know, but it, but like anywhere, it's there's a lot of competition out there just for for time. Really, yeah. is what it you know space and getting into things, but. That's great, and it's great that you found some places out of state too. Yeah, because um, everyone I've heard who or have talked to has said, you know, getting out there and traveling to a few other places, you know, just even if you just stay in the Northeast, right? You're getting your name out there a little bit. You're yeah, building it we up. We have goals of doing some longer stuff this summer and fall, but we figured, again, with those two dates being offered, <laughs> why not make it a weekend and yeah, a test practice the waters tour, right? and <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then you know. If those places like us, we'll go back. If they don't, then we'll just pick a new so what, venue what, in those areas. You know, what have. size are these venues that you're playing? Are they and, and, and what are they? Are they Gloom Garden kind of places? Are they a Gloom bar Garden. venue kind of place? Are they? Um, I haven't looked. The Providence one seems pretty big. Seems yeah, for... Fet Music Hall. Yeah. So I, oh, from <laughs> yeah, Fet Music Hall. Like from my understanding. As soon as it has music like a, hall on it, right? It's, it right, sounds like exactly. it's got to be at least like a higher ground thing because there's two okay. rooms. There's yeah. like, we're playing in a smaller room, which is totally fine. But like the showcase lounge. <laughs> yeah. Um, kind of right. thing. It's a lounge. Yeah. Uh, Alston is like a, it's a bar. Yeah. Bar. So yeah, probably like a monkey house type of thing. Yep. Okay. Um, and I think the rough draft in uh, Hamden, Connecticut is the same kind of bar. Sound, sounds thing. rough draft. I kind of, <laughs> I have a picture in my head already. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> They all seem like they're going to be fun, so we're pretty excited. Yeah. And, and so, are yeah. you playing with different bands each night? Yeah, yep. And and you organized all this yourself? Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. No, that's great. No. I just show up. <laughs> yeah, just show up. Hey, there we're the go. band. <laughs> Have you ever thought about that? You just find a venue and just yeah, we're the band. <laughs> just go. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's our name? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> read the tour poster before. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the day lily. The day lilies. They didn't think it was punk, but <laughs> yeah. now they know. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um. Do you have a name? So if you're going to release them as singles, it's not you don't really have a name of an EP yet, right? Do you think you'll collect these up and eventually kind of yeah. package it together? Kind yeah, of we haven't thing? like thought about that at all yet. Yeah. Okay, I mean, we're putting planting seeds here then. Yeah, well, I, I think we kind of talked about like releasing songs like these first three, like maybe individually or just at least right. Two of them. Yeah, yeah. And then at the end, like end of the year, once all five are together, having them all together. I mean, kind of discussed that. Yeah, because our thought is like. Okay, this three will be done. We can put those on the streaming platforms. People are going to hear yeah. them, yep. get our name out. And then we really want to do five and have an EP, yeah. but we also feel like not worth it to make physical copies of anything with only three songs. Yeah, three songs oh, yeah. is, you know, not, you're not quite not, getting there. Yeah, yeah. But, and, but we definitely think that they should be out there for people to hear. And then it will be like, oh, well, that's good. Like, I want to hear more. And yeah. You got to wait. Yeah. Well, and, and then, but come to a show, you might hear exactly. more, right? Right. You know, yeah. I mean, that's. I mean, how many new songs have you heard at, at shows where, yeah. Exactly. We're, we're working on this one. I th you know, people love being that good. kind of stuff, yeah. right? You know, I mean, and I heard it, and it's changed Look since... Nirvana, original, like, right. Smells Like Teen Spirit was a song that just played at a show, and people liked it. Yeah, it, it was like in a... Was it in, like, a gym or something yeah, like that? Yeah, and then it was funny. like... People were like, play that again, so they ended the set with it later that night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think I've, wasn't there like a, some weird grainy video of this or something yeah, or other? Yeah, I, I used to be like wow. super into them in high school. <laughs> Everybody was super into them for a while. <laughs> I was not in high school because I'm older than that, but still. <laughs> um, so we're getting, let's see here, just checking our time here. You have a couple more songs for us? Yeah, a few. Oh, yeah, 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 here. No, we're, we definitely want to. <laughs> so before we end, I just want to give you a chance to tell people where they can go find out more information about you. I know where it is, but I like to hear it from the from the horse's mouth, as it were. Well, Hunter's been running our like band camp, and that's got links to right. Facebook and YouTube. So, and so the band camp address is? 
Okay, I'll uh, tell you. I'll just... tell you since I just <laughs> yeah, looked it up. Thank you. The Silent Mile Oh, great. Okay, yeah, there you go. Makes yeah. sense. Right? Some of them have the VT and yeah, some of them some don't. Of them have VT so I'm pretty. Sure. Bandcamp's pretty good for searching, and there's a cool trick you can do on Bandcamp. If you dig down into the tags, you can get it to show you Vermont. Yeah. And then, and then sort and then sort by if newest you releases. Put our name in there. We're the first one to pop up. Exactly. We're also search the, is wonderful. If you put us in the, into YouTube, there's like three random songs, but we're yep. like right on the first page. Ran- I saw them on YouTube, and you do have a Facebook page. We have Facebook, right? and we have an Instagram. And an Instagram. Which is. So Facebook at- is facebook.com slash the silent mile. VT, I think. Does that I have think that VT, one has VT on it? In it. Okay. And so does the Instagram. Okay. Cool. Because. We also have a Reddit. But- but I, that's Reddit the one that I do. Well. Yeah. A, a, a Reddit. You're, yeah, you're, you're, a Reddit. Now you're heading off into that's like... That's bothering people <laughs> when I'm drunk. <laughs> it's exclusively operated drunkenly. Uh, All righty. That's Reddit does it, should be. Is it drunken silent? No, we don't want to. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> okay, so before we do the songs, I just have to do a quick uh, underwriting thing here. Which yeah. These are the people that help support Big Heavy World, which lets us help support you. So... <laughs> Real quick here, I'm going to do that, and then we're going to end with a couple songs. I'll have you introduce them, and okay. we'll be done. So, here we go. This is the part I'm not used to. <laughs> Programs on the Radiator are made possible in part by Advanced Music Center, a full-line, locally-owned and operated music store offering instrument sales, rentals, lessons, and repair services for the past 35 years on Maple Street in Burlington. Visit them in-store or on the web at www.advancedmusicvt.com. Also Yamaha, providing professional audio and musical instrument solutions, including the MG series of mixing consoles for installed, recording, or live music settings, including the Radiator Broadcast Studio. Discover Yamaha solutions at Advanced Music, your local Yamaha dealer. And that is our underwriting for tonight. So we are going to end with The Silent Mile, playing a couple songs for us. What are these two called? Uh, The next one is Sleepless Nights. Sleepless Nights, and then after that we're going to go right into... Uh, it's pretty new. It's An unnamed song. Unnamed song. <laughs> song, number, song number five. five? Exclusively <laughs> for you. Awesome. That is so great. So just want to thank you guys for coming in. This has been you. great for me. I hope it's been a wonderful experience for you too. Absolutely wonderful. So I want to thank Hunter on guitar, Conrad on the bass, and Steven, over the, Steven on drums. Steven on drums. Steven on drums. <laughs> I want a t-shirt that says that now. Steven on drums. <laughs> All right. Take it away, guys. Thank you. Thank you.